Hey everyone, here with Pawn of Foods, and we're gonna play against Wizard with our protein source, hasty diagnostics, weird thing. So we don't have, don't have any ice, this is probably a mall. Yeah, this is a little better. And DNA tracker off the bat seems decent. Do I even look for credit here? Yeah, let's click for credit. I could draw, but I don't think I want to draw. I want to have money for my ice to start with. So we'll find out if we have a regular wizard with regular breakers and contract, or if we have the siphon wizard. Or if we have some other wizard, could be very exciting. Running in archives, Haiti shared. Oh, so probably the siphon type. I'm gonna put this now, even though I can't afford it. Just so that I have two ice, and I don't get like DDoS siphoned immediately. There's siphon and Faust. Yep. Here it comes. Probably worth the res just to put him down. Oh, two cards, it's not a bad tax, Plas Greed. Is he gonna start floating now? He is, okay. Not a great start for us. We cover archives. I almost cover R and D. Then if he draws, we can click click hedge the turn after and res our Shikaru, which is a decent tax for Faust for the time being till he gets a knife on it. Yeah, obelisk. So the Hades shard is going to be real. He gets the good one off the bat. So he's on three points. This is like why people don't play five threes, right? Because you just, they grab one, you just like lose the game on the spot. So what do we actually res here? We res DNA tracker for five cards. Dice is spooned. A combine he has a parasite for, but I don't know if he has parasites with the siphons going on, the David and the Faust. All right, I think we just make him lose his entire hand and keep five creds. Nobody's going to siphon us last click. So he wouldn't have the money to really do so. Black says the guy that account siphons me. <laughs> So it was right in the end to play this instead of playing the hedge fund because we didn't lose the full value money. We just lost three bucks. Goodbye to your hand, DDoS. Oh, the spoon, yes. That's the one we want to get rid of. Yeah, that's pretty great. Those were cards he wanted. Is he going to continue into, like, Cobra? I think he should not continue here. It's... Pretty risky. Yeah, I think that's a very sound call. Welp, we probably just gift here, gift credit, so we can bring up our Ashigaru. Hoping to get diagnostics drawn off the top and then we can score this, or even better to score the other protein source and get it out of the game. So you're going to have a sad turn flicking to draw. Hmm. 
Because we can't really play resources now, right? Because we'll just trash them. Like, I'll instantly trash same old thing. So Luna comes back. We can hasty to try to draw Diagnostics. That'll give us three chances to see it. Getting kind of desperate at this point. Because we're full of agendas. I guess worst case, we install this and install an ice in front of it. Or we get the jacks and we can throw it away. Okay. That's reasonable. Uh, no, what do we do? I think we put the agendas away and shuffle them back and just hold on for dear life. Doesn't feel great, huh? But maybe if we just take a lot of credits and put a lot of big ice in our centrals, he won't be able to get value out of obelisk or medium. Because so I think the balance of turns passing somewhat favors us in that we're going to get subliminals, we're going to get Palinuk credits. He doesn't really have any kind of engine going. So I'll now install this. Rumil is in the bin. I think he does not have another one. I'll make him actually run this. Probably play subliminal. And I'll play it next turn. I think he's gonna. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna run this turn, so we can keep it in hand. If we happen to draw a thing that goes with it, we can have it in hand. I think there's no way he won't run this server one, unless he plays a second rumor mill, which is fine. He has exactly enough cards to beat this. So this is one other benefit of holding this little you get extra subroutine and a Shigeru, but he will siphon here. Oh, he won't. He's, he's not going to pay his entire hand. He probably can't afford to ditch his cutlery. Like if he has knife now, he just has to jack out and come back with knife. What I would love to do is get vanilla in front of this. And then this will be safe from knife. That would be a pretty clutch situation for us. This is an expensive ice we can't really afford to lose. Yeah, he will come for this. So we'll shuffle our deck, which gets rid of the two identities on top. Put our hasty back, put our ice back. I think maybe maybe the gifts are better. They're a lot of money in one card, and we can just tank through siphons that way. Man, this is awkward. We're gonna get hasties and we're not gonna need diagnostics. So I can play this, set up two cards. But diagnostics has to be in the top three cards. I think it won't happen. Yeah, whatever. This is definitely not as good as like Cerebral Imaging 7 point combo. I haven't seen a hasty deck yet that has been as, as good as that one is. The big benefit that that one has is that the runner gets scared to run after a certain point because they know the combo is in hand if they let power shut down fire. So you give those decks a lot of space to then, you know, draw up, find alternate ways to combo, or just like put naked agendas out that you can't run. 
against the kind of hasty decks, you can just run whenever you want, wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I think this is like a fun build around me car, but the power level is not quite there. There's like an element of risk to it. Like if you fire a blind, like weak, you could fire it and then hit it like diagnostics. That's really good. Or you could hit nothing. We already fired and hit nothing. And there's the mill card too, which we actually want this ice pretty badly. Oh, yeah, that's a problem for us. It did reveal those feel, but I'm not going to be a stickler about it. So now we probably want to trash this Haiti Shard. We've got four cards in the bin. Eventually it gets good for him to pop it during a run and get a whole bunch of draws. We now need ice badly, but we also need to get our shipments back after we play them, after we score. <laughs> nice seven card hand for him. We see it's all right. Still gonna let him go for two cards and draw two off medium. We'll have medium problems, he'll take the dentist from us. So we will definitely get R&D locked by this Omar strategy, unless we can heavily defend all our centrals, which is a tough sell. So if we can draw an agenda with hasty, we can score it. Well, let's try it. Philotic. Yeah, okay. Might as well do a net damage here, might hit something good. It's not the one I wanted, but it could be worse. And we even milled an agenda off of that. Uh, womp womp. We hit deja vu. That's actually about the best hit you could ask for. It's one less siphon to deal with. Or it keeps the parasites from coming back, which he presumably has. Ooh. Well, let's make him pay. He dumps all his cards. It doesn't count as breaking all of them, does it? Or it does? It does, I think. So we could dump three cards here. Yeah. He's paying seven, but he could just pay six and drop his hand, right? Because he's going to spend his cards here anyway. Oh, he's going to eat her everything. Okay. I guess, I guess his hand is good. He's going to not continue. That's fair. I would have resident a tracker in him again. Surprised he didn't go for the Omar run, because he didn't really need to kill us if he can just go the other way. So it's now $1 for Eater, but I think the most important thing is to protect the Shigeru from getting killed horrendously. 
by knife. That said, there's a lot of points in our R&D, so that's a problem too. We got problems. Like we can't afford to build a remote that we keep them out. So we can't really build a remote at all at that point. You really want to get Agriplex online with this stack, so you're drawing two at a time. That gives you like so much, so much better chance to draw what you need. So then it comes back, amazing. So if we hasty, we get three chances to draw diagnostics. I think we need to, we need to try it here. Oh, we get garbage. <laughs> Yikes, that's bad. Yeah, that's really bad, in fact. So hoping to see lateral, hoping to see... We had a lot of outs right there to find something good. Just was not to be. You might run this just to deny some little messaging. I think that's fine. So how's he doing on the same old things? He's probably is a full set, huh? Two dejas are down, one same old thing is down. So there's more siphons and cutlery coming at our ice. But we can maybe stay afloat. I guess we'll res this. Um, we're going to get cards you don't really want. But... Do you think it's worth it playing this to R&D? I think it's too expensive, right? We just let that die and play another DNA tracker is, is, the, is the play, I think. So we have three celebrity gifts and a hedge left for Econ. We have our Gs, we've got a lot of things. Ah. Rip DNA tracker. Does burn the entire David, which is not bad. And he's gonna probably jack out. It's another DNA tracker. I don't think he expected that. <laughs> That's gonna hit. See if that's the whole thing fires. If we can knock out some cutlery, some same olds, some siphons, retrieval. Yeah, there's the knife. Medium. He will draw two off of this, but that's still a solid hit, and his money is now with zero credits. He's not going to scare it for fetal AI. Okay. Please give me something good here. We can play Hasty Lottery this turn, but we need Diagnostics. I guess we'll protect our R&D from... Show me Diagnostics. We don't get it. Incredible. Man, we're hurting here. We can shuffle away three agendas if we want to, but we need at least the protein source in our hand. I 
So if we gift, no, we got we got to play this the caprice to R and D. Got to play the caprice to R and D, and then our other click this turn will be install Jackson. Whoops, I misclicked it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Start over. I don't even have the brain trust. Which he'll get if he runs R&D, but he shouldn't get in, so we should be safe to actually put all our agendas down. R&D, new remote, and then next turn we can gift. The turn after that we might draw diagnostics. Oh, it's harsh. <laughs> I think I actually want to draw two here. Probably pitch them. We just have to get somewhere. Oh man. Oh man. So we'll shuffle away the third agenda. That's and we'll put back hasty diagnostics. I think we leave a brain trust in the bin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's going to check through for a regular look because the DNA tracker here. He'll, he'll go Omar for R&D if anything. Help me out here. No, we get a Jeeves. Interesting. Well, that will do. Kind of. We play subliminal, we don't get it back. <laughs> We're in trouble. Except we've got three lateral in our deck, so we've got to draw lateral very soon. And then we can lateral shipment to score the 3-2. Yeah, like our deck is almost nothing but good cards. I wonder if we should play shipment from Mirror Morph instead of one of the laterals. It costs you money, but you can like dump your hand more quickly. And there's probably some double into scores you can pull off with that. Have to say. He's gonna rumor mill me probably. Now we'll get David. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. I could have bid one there, but I was afraid he would bid one just to try to trash her. We really do want to have some ice coming in. Do we shuffle? We shuffle in order that we draw ice or we draw hasty that we need yeah that's all right we have enough shipments to finish the game so we'll put back our combo pieces hasty hasty 
and a DNA tracker. Try to shore up our R&D a little bit. Oof. Well, we totally just didn't draw ice. <sighs> or diagnostics or anything. This is brutal. Uh, I'm going to give this to him if he wants it. He take pressure off R&D and we'll have a 2-2 two -two in our deck. We can maybe score. So you're going to bid real money here? Yes, we got him. We can kind of afford to keep bidding too. Nuts. Should have kept bidding too. That's too bad. <laughs> What's left in our deck? We have lateral growths. Diagnostics, hasties, one more agenda. <sighs> if only we'd bid two, we would have drawn the agendas. Uh, it wouldn't really have helped us, actually. I don't know. I felt like our draw was just so awkward the entire time. But this is a tough one to win anyway. Obelisk Medium Faust Siphon is like pretty much tier one. Blast through many things. We did end up defending Siphon pretty well. We didn't have enough ice to defend both R&D and Archives, right? It's almost impossible to make him not go to either server. Still, had we bid two, we would have had another turn for it to try to figure out wiggle something. We could have scored medical. Or I don't know what we, what we even would have done. Just thinking the cards you needed in the right order. Bit of issue with this deck, you can't hold everything in your hand, but there's no real hand increasers you can play. Because, like, Cybernetics Court is like five influence and research station is just not a good card it's tricky thanks for watching